Hi guys, how are you? Welcome back to Pure MMT for the 100% Beyond the Memes, Beyond the Bumper Stickers. Alright, let's talk about uh, MMT here again. And let's just kind of sum it up in a nutshell of what MMT is. You have two cows. You have 300 people milking these cows. You claim you have full employment and maximum productivity. Then you tell everybody, hey, go out and learn MMT. That's it. Let's make it 600 people milking the same two cows. Right? What happened? We just spent six trillion dollars. Trump was passing out tax credits like candy. Right? Six trillion dollars in a little over a year. Not to mention over three trillion dollars in tax revenues for a total of nine trillion dollars. Or fifty percent of real GDP. And MMTers are still crying all over social media. Not enough. Helicopter money. There you go. Take it. We're going to have to work. Here, take the money. Not that I'm against it. But it was an emergency measure. But MMT doesn't want an emergency measure. They want it all the time. And there's a reason why we have emergency measures, right? There's a reason why we have reserve parachutes when we jump out of an airplane. We don't just jump out of the airplane with a reserve parachute and hope it opens. Right? So where's all the economic growth? Where's all the prosperity? Where's all the savings that we're all supposed to have, according to MMT? Their, tack, their red ink is our black ink. Government debt equals our savings. Our, right? Quote, our. Where is it? Where's all the prosperity? You thriving? $9 trillion, 50% of GDP was spent in a little over a year? And MMT is still crying? Oh, don't worry about it. It's a deficit myth. Don't worry about how you're going to pay for it. Okay. Home prices are up 24% from last year. You see anybody from MMT waving their arms, jumping up and down? Hey, stop printing. Do you? No. Not a single one. Home prices, 24% up in one year. And MMT is like, eh, we need more. We need a Green New Deal. We need more deficits. And they're still on social media crying the blues, whining, moaning, bitching, crying, more, more. And yet more does not satisfy them. It doesn't do what they claim it does. The deficits are our savings. Why are they not running out with all their savings from the deficits buying bonds that are yielding 0% interest? Why aren't they? Because that's what deficits are, by the way. In order for the government to deficit spend, they must issue bonds. So who has the savings to run out and buy the bonds? The 95% in the productive economy? Nope. You get the liabilities. Right? Since 2007, which by the way, public debt back then was 10 trillion. It took us 200 years to get to 10 trillion. We have since spent 18 trillion plus in 14 years. And 
for those years from 2010 onwards that MMTers have been crying, the vast majority of those deficits have exponentially increased, and yet it's never enough. They want more. They're not happier. They're not more prosperous. It's not fair. We need government to pay for it. We need a job guarantee. Ah, a job guarantee. We just uh, helicopter money. I'm not against it. Okay, it's an emergency measure for a reason. Where is all the savings? Where's all your bonds that you guys are saving? Uh, I'm still asking that question. Where is it? Why are you still crying? Because it doesn't work? The theory is full of shit? Where are all the MMTers saying, hey, inflation is the limit? 42% of CPI is housing. Housing is up 24%, like I told you. You know how much you registered on the CPI? One point. One point. One. Think about that. What does MMT do? They deflect, they rationalize, make excuses. It's transitory, it's supply chain, it's whatever. Yeah, transitory. You think that home prices are going to come down 24% next year? Do you? Are you that naive? Are you that gullible? I know what we'll do. We'll get 600 people to milk this, the same two, two cows. Call it full employment, employment, max productivity, and everything is good. Right? Oh, but you're, you're not getting it, you know. We're going to take care of Grandma. We're going to put flowers in the park and peel gum off the ground. We'll make life better. Oh, okay. Well, um... Why doesn't the private sector do that? Right? There's no profit in it. That means it's unproductive. So it's not really a job then, is it? It's not a job. So why are you calling it a job guarantee? It's workfare. It's free money. Calling it a job. Getting 600 people to milk the same two cows. And don't worry about inflation. We're at max productivity. Well, you know, we want cleaner parks, you know. We want clean pavements and somebody's got to take care of grandma. Okay. All right. I hear you. So pay more taxes. Let the government hire more uh, government employees to do these things. Mm -hmm. There you go. If you think that's th it's so important, right? So why don't you do that? Oh, stop it. Oh, stop it now. Yeah. See, it's nice when you spending somebody else's money. <laughs> You're experts when it comes to that, right? When it comes for you to spend your own money to get the things that you claim that you want. Uh, <laughs> well, now... Uh, you realize that the government has nothing to give you? Give anybody. They don't have anything. What do you think? Uh, Trump, or Biden, and whoever else in Congress is going to run out and work and, hey, I'm the government. I'm working for you here. Take, take, take my money. Government doesn't have anything. In fact, Trump didn't even pay his taxes. <laughs> Shit. Right? Biggest MM tier of them all. That guy was, woo! Printed up a storm, passing out tax credits like candy. Helicopter money. Yeah, don't worry about it. Pay 2000 What do you mean 1400 uh, That's crap. 2000 Yeah, okay. And how much economic growth did we get for that uh, $6 trillion plus the $9 trillion of government tax revenues that we spent? Yeah. Exactly zero. 
zero goose egg zip nothing nada GDP is still below pre-COVID levels nine trillion dollars fifty percent of GDP boom government doesn't have anything to give you you can just print up worthless digits hand them out but you won't get economic growth you can get a thousand people to milk the same two cows you're not going to get more milk right it's amazing it's amazing every single day whining moaning crying bitching eh, eh. More deficits, more deficits, yeah, yeah, yeah. and year after year, trillion after trillion, pumped into the economy, and they're still crying. You would think they would figure it out by now. You would think they would have enough brain cells left to say, wait a minute. We printed up $18 trillion. It took us 200 years to build up $10 trillion. We spent $18 trillion in what 14 years six trillion in the past year plus nine trillion with the tax why am i not more prosperous why am i still bitching why am i still maybe this theory is bullshit ever think of that oh right inflation is how don't worry about how we're going to pay for it inflation is the limit okay so now we know who's going to pay for it and how you are paying for it through inflation so when Natasha Kelton is telling you, oh, don't worry about how we're going to pay for it. Well, you better start worrying because you're paying for it through inflation. You think Coke is going to be transitory, raising their prices? Kimberly Clark, Smuckers, and every other company out there? You think they're transitory, going to raise uh, prices and then just magically lower them? That's not what Mosley tells you, is it? Oh, no, don't worry about it. supply chains. It's transitory. It's been transitory for months now. And every day they keep saying, yeah, it's transitory. <laughs> month after month, transitory. No, they're not transitory. You are paying for it through inflation. That's the bottom line. And you can put 10,000 people to milk the same two cows. You're not going to create more economy. You're not going to do it. I'm sorry. You're not going to make more pizza pies by creating more slices. You're not going to get more yardstick by putting a bigger number on the yardstick. It's not going to happen. It's not going to happen. And you guys are living in a fantasy world. That's it for this video. Thank you very much. Think about what I'm telling you. Okay. Because uh, your kids uh, at this rate at home prices that are rising. At this rate. Your kids and they'll be living in clay homes and caves. Okay. That's what's going to happen. Take care. Bye-bye.